What is up guys and welcome to Resident Evil 2. Super stoked to be playing this game right now. Quick note before we get started, this video is going to have four sections. It's going to have the tutorial speedrun, then we're going to show you how to do the account switch to extend your gameplay time. And then we're going to do a little bit of a settings review, love the settings, and then after that the trailer reveal for Tofu and Hunk. Okay, let's get into this speedrun tutorial. Keep in mind as well that there is a timeline in the description and you can jump to any one of these sections I just spoke about. Okay, now the initial start is fairly straightforward, making sure you skip the cutscenes, pushing start button and square it is on PS4. And there's only a couple of guys that you actually have to shoot, but you have to shoot them pretty well. Now my whole aim with this is to get under 3 minutes 30 and I would be happy with that run. This was the fourth attempt I think it was. So there are a couple of little hints that you can do, but I mean, it's just practice makes perfect. And with the multiple account settings, I just use this on one account. Alright, give that door a wide berth, sometimes you can get stuck in there. Kind of messed up the skipping there, but it's alright. Now here you want to make the guy come through the door and attempt to get him in the headshot, because that's what you want to do. One shot run. And then this section is definitely going to be the most difficult because, well, there's two zombies. Getting them once should give you enough time, once each, to get around them. And that's the first section done. Now be sure to pick up the knife because if you spam cancel, then you actually won't pick it up, which I found out on one of my runs. Hit to the right and cut the tape. I'll be honest, I'm not a massive fan of speedruns, but doing this for a little bit, four or five, six runs, actually gets your heart pumping. Try and beat your own score. It's challenging. Okay, the next section, give this area a wide berth as well, because that guy will interrupt you if you hit him. Then we're going to zigzag down all the way to the end. And hit up the stairs, I think it is. No, not yet. Oh, we seem to miss this door. And then we're going to head to the broken window. Yeah, the stairs is still quite far ahead. Avoid the munching zombie over there. I think you're trying to get into a vending machine. But this is the staircase, so when you see the banging zombie on the window bars. And then there's one more guy you got to try and headshot. He can be difficult at an angle, but if not, just offload the clip. Yeah, if you don't get him in the head, then he's not going to stagger. And he will be munching on you. Not ideal. So we're going to grab the key here. And this is when I realized to do a speed run, you need to have the menu on memory. So when I go to the next door, it's on the key that I just picked up. But anyway, we're going to head through this area and then across the walkway. Now at this point, what I would do differently is to actually look down. Because there's one female zombie down there. And she can either be dead in your path, or she won't even be visible. And this is the only time that it wasn't visible on my fourth attempt. Every other time she was directly between me and the door. Which means again, you're required to do another headshot. But, not even in sight. And this is when I realized I needed the memory. There she is. Hang a left, and then at the end of this as well, give this pillar a wide angle as well. Because you can get stuck there fairly easy. And there you go. Be sure to skip the last cutscene because it'll still count, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But 326 was it? Yeah, 326 is fine for me. I'm happy with that. Okay, now I'm going to head on to the account switching. Now, if you want to extend your time, it's pretty straightforward. Have more, more than one user on your console. Sign into that user and then switch to that user at least. And then be sure to close the application before switching because I tried to start the application and it wouldn't let me because it was still open in the other user. And then also you have to be connected to the internet. So this will require you to put in some details, but there's no money involved. So you can potentially do this as many times as you like, extending your playtime by hours, if you will. Right, once you've got that sorted, you can head on in. Right, so let's have a look at some settings. Now, I love games that actually are designed and have the sound design and the capability of changing resolutions and HDR and all that stuff. 
especially this day and age. So control setup, again, quite a few functions, vibration, aim assist, reticule, and so forth. Camera as well, you can explore with that. And then the display is pretty cool because you can change the color of your reticule on the dot. And of course the brightness, and you can also remove the HUD. So that's gonna, that's gonna make things interesting at some point. And then what got me most excited is the audio because a game designed to you know suit surround sound and 5.1 7.1 is just amazing and if you have the means to do it strongly and highly recommend you do now i'm going to let these trailers play out guys i'm going to catch you at the end she's the one at umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus seems to be evolving much faster than expected you gotta be kidding me god only knows what's down here what the hell it'll be all over let me go! soon i'll get you you fucker <laughs> Sherry, I'm coming! I'm not handing over anything! Oh, Jesus Christ! That? Ah. You don't know what you're up against! The whole place is coming down! That's a pretty damn good idea! This is Hunk from Alpha Team. Man, I thought you were all wiped out. Ah, Shindo. And there we have it, Tofu and Hunk, bringing back some cool memories. Right, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. If you like the content, smash that like button. Plenty more guides on the way on the 25th. So I want to say thank you so much for watching, and I want to catch you on the next one.